Right. Okay, so um, from yesterday, again, uh, just a little bit of um, refreshing about the L algorithm, how to calculate the packing height. First, we know the equilibrium relationship between the uh, small y and the small x here from uh, Henry's law, which is why uh, I multiply with the p total equal to uh, uh, this one is the coefficient and then uh, x yeah and then with the yeah that one there okay and then uh and then the second one uh, so we we should have a correlation between y and and x in the small y and the small x which is the mole fraction of the liquid in the solution and also i think this is from the the concentration yeah something yeah. okay uh, and then uh, this one is the y for the mole fraction of the gas okay and then uh, of course you have to change this uh, change it into solvent free basis uh, become mole ratio of the gas uh, versus uh, mole ratio uh, in the uh, liquid uh, phase okay so this one should be done uh, and then okay and then the second one you have to draw the operating line in the uh, x that x y diagram Okay, so here, uh, how to draw the XY diagram? Let's have a look at the previous one here, um, or maybe here, yeah. So, so we know the Y, yeah. We know the Y. We know the, uh, uh, sorry, we know the uh, X two as well. We yeah, from the top. We know the Y one, and then then we have to uh, calculate. Then we can uh, find yeah the slope. Usually for the slope. Um, we have to find this uh, also from the uh, the minimum one. Okay, so uh, try to find the minimum line. One, for example, like this. Yeah. I'll find the minimum uh, one, and then once we know the minimum uh, LS, then we can calculate uh, what is LS by calculating how many uh, the the operating condition how many ls minimum and then you can construct new uh, slope okay con con you can construct new slope and then there you have it you have your operating line okay and the next one after you got the operating line and then you need to find the kxa and kya from the problems yeah, yeah because usually it's given by the vendors uh, like in the uh, videos before that uh there's a difference between rashic ring and pole ring and saddle yeah it's about the contact and then also the wetted area between the gas and the liquid okay so once you have done that uh, uh then later on you can calculate your uh back to here yeah uh, you can uh, make a graph between the y i y and y i and then calculate uh the the area for the um, uh, what's called the trapezium yeah the pre trapezium area uh, to calculate the uh, to integrate this NTU okay so once you got that then you uh, you can have it okay so um, now today um, I think I should um, calculate this okay so now let's have a look on the for for today um i will introduce you about uh let's have a look i think i should uh, just copy this one so i don't um, i don't interfere with these notes I'll just copy this one, the second one. Okay, and delete this one. Because I will need this graph, so uh, in order them to so we don't need to uh, yeah delete all of them. okay now for today um 
let's have a look on this slide okay yeah uh, this is a um, mass transfer phenomena from uh, gas to liquid okay uh, here you can uh, have you can have see you can, can see the mole ratio of the uh, the lick the the gas and the gas is transferred into the uh, interface yeah into the into the surface or the interface here and here there is um, uh, of course there is a driving force between y to uh, yi okay and in the interface uh, it will uh, have an equilibrium correlated to the x so it's gonna change with the x based on the henry's law uh, with the xi and then usually the xi is uh, in um, increasing yeah it, it is it is uh, higher than the yi and after that while it is in the interface uh, when it is should be transferred again into the liquid phase then uh, there is a mass transfer so usually in the the, uh, the concentration or the mole ratio of uh, solute in the interface is usually higher than the uh, bulk phase and then there is would be a mass transfer from the interface of the liquid into the bulk phase okay uh, now in in another method or another uh, calculation we uh, assume that x is actually similar to uh, y star okay uh, so we consider that the overall um, driving force yeah so the overall driving force it would be from uh, the initial y which is the mole ratio in a gas phase to the mole ratio of gas in um yeah uh, uh yeah it's not real one but the x is in the y star okay so so the driving force is we change into y to y star okay so there is not there are two uh, types of mass transfer the first one is when we only look at the gas side which is uh, this one yeah this is the previous one and the second one is that we consider overall okay there if we consider overall mass transfer then we should use the k is the, in the capital Okay, then the, the K is the capital, and this is called the gas overall mass transfer coefficient. And uh, the Y, uh, and then we have to change the X into uh, Y. Okay, and then uh, is it uh, X equal to Y? No, but uh, we have to find the, the, the value of X into the, uh, the, but, but Y. Okay, so here, um, this one is the, uh, the overall uh, gas uh, mass transfer coefficient and this is also the mass transfer equation which is a similar um, and a the mass flux uh, of the solute uh, multiply with the area uh, area of the contact between the gas and the liquid it is equal to the gas overall mass transfer coefficients uh, multiply with the a or the um, the the wetted area of the uh, the packing uh, and then uh, multiply with the driving force and the driving force is now become y uh, minus y uh, star okay and then uh, integrated with dz now the question is what is the correlation between x and y star if we consider the gas overall mass transfer coefficient so in 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 uh, reality uh, later on the the value of small k and also the large k capital k of course going to be different yeah because the the small k uh, only consider the mass transfer in uh, gas phase while the capital k consider the overall mass transfer now let's have a look um just gonna delete this one okay so um to um to get the uh, overall to to find um correlation 
between uh, x and y star uh, what we need to do is when uh, it is uh, y uh, we know in the uh, in the operating line yeah so this is the y for example uh, y is correlates to like that yeah y correlate to x yeah y correlate to x in the operating line okay so we find the value of y in the equilibrium uh, which is correlate uh, when uh, the the mole reaction or the mole ratio is x okay so this one we find the y star from the equilibrium uh, graph okay so what we need to do uh, for example this is the operating line the operating line and then this is the one point uh, it correlates to the comp the mole ratio of y and then uh, it correlates uh, so this is how to read the y and this one is how to read the x yeah so this is the uh, x the mole ratio of x and then uh, uh, look at on the uh, this one the equilibrium one and then find uh, the correl uh, this is gonna be the x and find the correlating equilibrium for the x okay so find the correlating equilibrium for the x and and there you have it so and this this is the y star okay so um if you're using uh overall uh, mass transfer uh then uh this is gonna be your y star okay and how about the uh, the equation the equation is similar okay the equation is similar so the equation also uh, is the same so this is gs dash divided by chi y chi y a but the k now is uh capital yeah because it's the overall gas mass transfer coefficients and the um the driving force now is the overall driving force which is y minus y star and uh, there and then you can find it using uh, this method okay so by uh, changing uh, by looking at this one so you can again you can uh, find your gs and then you know also your kya okay uh, and then uh, so this is your uh, we call it uh, not htu but uh, htog so he uh, hey transfer of overall gas okay and then again uh, you calculate again the one over uh, y minus y star and then multiply with dy, dy okay so again using a numerical this is from y2 to y1 using numerical method or using the the trapezium trapezoid method uh, you can uh, calculate uh, this one and then multiply with the dy yeah the delta and then you can um yeah you can do the integration all right so uh to again if you look at here um uh, yeah so if you consider uh using to calculate the ntog the a number number of transfer overall gas if you consider with the overall mass transfer of the gas then uh, you can again uh, let's say uh, check uh, the y1 and y2 and then divide them into how many uh, segments uh, with your mathematics for example you want to uh, divide with two, uh, six segment or five segments yeah and then in each y here this one is not right here yeah, because uh, it has a different um, uh, uh, di distance yeah beda jarak but try to find the similar uh, distance there and then uh, find your y1 y and then uh, you can uh, uh, find it your uh, x in the equilibrium and then correlate to the y star 
okay so this one so so it's not gonna use those uh, slope between the chi x a and chi way i uh, k way a but now we use the uh, the vertical line because uh, we want to know at the certain y uh, at the certain x for the equilibrium what is the correlating uh, y or y star okay and with that one you can uh, do again the the tabling uh, between uh, find the y find the y star and then find your function and then multiply with delta y and then uh, multiply it and then add it and then you get the uh, the area and this area is become the NTOG okay so uh, so there you have it uh, you can uh, with even with the uh, overall mass transfer you can also get the H the height uh, by help, uh, finding the operating line the equilibrium and then also the KYI okay so in summary there are two type of uh, mass transfer that we're going to use here the first one is the one side from the gas where the mass transfer of the uh, gas uh, to from the bulk phase into the interface uh, is symbolized by small um small k small k k y a and then uh if you're using that one that you have to also know your kxa because uh, that is uh, beneficial for you to calculate the slope yeah, to to calculate the correlation between the operating line and also the equilibrium line okay uh, the second one uh, is when you do the overall yeah you if you don't all uh, in the exam find it if you you have to find the, the capital uh, K or the overall mass transfer, yeah, this one. Okay, um, and then uh, so so uh, also okay so right uh, so yeah so this is uh, actually uh, yeah so uh, that also uh, we also can um, find. Uh, this one here so how in terms of what if we use kya so uh, when we use uh, kya okay okay the first one when uh, x uh, is actually approach y okay or the second one if the mass transfer coefficient of the in the liquid is uh, large enough okay and that, that one there so because the the slope is uh, the slope then the previous one is actually minus k x a divided by minus k uh, y a yeah so if the uh, if this is small then you have a large number divided a small number yeah uh, and what's that uh, if you have if you have uh, for example okay I'm gonna I think I'm gonna draw it here again yeah so if we have this graph okay uh, for example this is the slope back again yeah to the to the uh, the one side for example the minus minus k x a divided by k y a yeah uh, the first one this is uh, y and this is the x let me check if my calculation is right uh, this one is it is it right okay the slope is sorry said too much uh, calculation here uh, ah, yeah. yeah so the slope is minus k x a divided by minus k y a yeah okay Okay, so because the slope is minus k x a uh, divided by minus k y a, um, so if you have a uh, small k y a or large uh, k x a, so that means the 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 mass transfer coefficient uh, in the in the liquid, yeah, this one in the liquid. Uh, is high 
while in the gas phase it's low then your slope would be uh, this one is large divided by small so okay what is the slope if uh, a large number divided by a very very small number what happened very very large <laughs> okay very very large and then what is the slope it become maybe in mathematically would be infinity right okay and then what is the slope for infinity uh vertical line yeah vertical line so that's 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 right kevin so if you have a very uh a large resistance in your uh, liquid phase uh compared to the gas phase it would be like uh, it would be similar to that one okay and this one uh we can consider that uh, similar to the y star okay so uh, again uh, so when we use a uh, ky the capital kya first if we have uh, kya the overall one uh, the second one if the uh, kxa is much much larger compared to small k okay uh, so there you have it if you if you have a large resistance in your mass transfer coefficients uh, then you can use uh, this type of approach but if you uh, let's say uh, if, if the kya and kxa is quite similar for example or like with with number you can divide it you can make your slope okay uh, usually in the exam there would be all those types yeah there would be a question where uh, the kxa and kya is known uh, so you have to calculate the slope okay the second one is when um, it is really mentioned in the exam that this is the overall mass transfer so of course you're going to use the capital one or sometimes uh, it is written like this uh, the cap uh, the mass transfer coefficient of of gas phase is is much smaller compared to the mass transfer in the liquid for example so then you can use this assumption and then uh, when you uh, try to find the y uh, i or y star and then you can use this method all right uh, okay so we can we can have a look uh, go back when we do the uh, assign, assignment or not not assignments yeah just uh, just uh, practice but then uh, next week is uh, Next week is the mod exam module two, yeah, it's confirmed, okay? Right, <clears throat> okay, so, uh, and then again, uh, this is just a similar, um, it, it can be also reviewed in liquid, yeah, but it is rare, so I'm just gonna skip it. So, yeah, if you if you want to look at from the liquid side, from this side, so then uh, you have to change the Y into the Y, uh, the, the X star, yeah? But sometimes it's, it's really rare because uh, in the practice, of course, it is easy to, easier to um, to analyze the gas phase and it can be online. We can just detect, the detector can detect the gas phase online and then just connect it to the computer, to the uh, control station and it's easy to control. Right, uh, so, um, so uh, just to and, and, and some addition that um, the coefficient of the mass transfer, uh, so then you, you, you should know there is a small y uh, small k y a there's small k x a this there's a, a capital y a l capital x a and all of this again is defined by defenders okay it's predicted and it is based on the experiments uh, and then uh, we can get uh, the the value after we do certain um, experiment and then uh, from those experiments is made uh, empirical equation and usually it is um, a function uh, of Sherwood number or uh, also a function of Reynolds number and the Smith number the Smith uh, the Reynolds number is from the flow properties and the Smith number is from the physical properties okay and lastly um, we have uh, HETP yeah the one that I showed you in the exam uh, the HETP is the heat uh, heat equivalent to theoretical plate so um, uh, so we can convert the absorber column or sorry, the 
the peg column into a tray column uh, and and vice versa from the peg col the tray column we can convert it into a peg column yeah remember peg column is not only uh, applied for absorption it can be applied for distillation and also in the distillation also it can use absorb uh, we, it can use pack column so uh, in order to find uh, which one is the number of stages um, it's similar to the um, uh, distillation column so from the top yeah uh, it's always from the top uh, this is the equilibrium with the x uh, one and then uh, this is going to be the second operating line the, uh, on the stage two so this one is also we call called it one stage okay so this one is called we can call it one stage so then we can uh, determine the number of stage and then the HETP is called uh, is called the uh, equal to the height of the calculation from the absorbent column divided by the number of stage okay so that is HETP so for example you have h uh, you have the height is 10 meters and you and when you calculate that one is three three stages so the h -E is uh, 10 meters divided by three stages or maybe 3.33 uh, meters okay simple as that okay and lastly um is it the stripper uh, the, in the stripper, we have the uh, rich um, solvent here, and for the rich solvent here, it goes to the dis uh, desorption column. Yeah, it's called, it's called desorption column. In desorption column, uh, we we just try to f uh, swing the we change the the operating uh, condition. Okay, usually in the absorber column, uh, they have high pressure and also low temperature uh, so you know, my internet is unstable so I'm going to close my video here okay um, uh, and then while in the uh, this one here in the uh, desorption column usually we reduce the temp the, the pressure and increase the temperature okay uh, so if we reduce the pressure and then increase the temperature then the the solvent, which is uh, the gas, would be uh, volatilized uh, to here. Yeah. So you. So then you have the the gas uh, that is this first dissolved in the rich uh, solvent here. It's gonna be uh, maybe vaporized and then from the gas there. Okay. And then here, then you will have your lean uh, solvent, pelarut yang sedikit solute. Yeah. So you, that's why sometimes the lean uh, solvent uh, it doesn't uh, comprise of very very zero solute there's still a little something some a little, little bit left uh, because based, based on the desorption column for the operating line for the desorption column usually it uh, operated just under the uh, the operating line okay if you remember the absorber column operating on this side uh, but for desorption column the operating line is around uh, this one here Okay, um, up to here. So we finish. Um, uh, questions? Any question? Uh, actually, Bu, I think I'm still a bit confused in terms of the interface and uh, what's the difference between the interface and the overall for, uh, the calculation, Bu? Okay. Uh, what is the difference between the, uh, the one side and the interface? Yeah let's have a new uh, calculation then okay um, I think I should draw it using I'll try draw using a venomena suppose we have a gas yeah around here okay this gas um, the concentration of here is called the bulk phase in Indonesia, we call it fasa cura atau fasa uh, ya bulk phase, yeah. In, okay. Uh, in order this gas to be absorbed into this uh, liquid, okay, first it should have to transfer into the interface. So this is interface. Okay. 
the concentration of uh, or the mole ratio yeah because we talk about mole ratio of the gas into here we call the concentration around the interface is called uh, y i okay but still in a gas phase so uh, when we draw it uh, here okay the more it height is this is higher yeah so so the, the more vertical it is the the higher it is it is uh, a higher one okay let's say you have your 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 calculation uh the mole ratio of your gas is around here okay uh, when it is uh a start to go to the interface uh in order for them to be absorbed here there should be a driving force and this driving force is the con uh, concentration or mole ratio of the uh, gas in the bow phase minus the concentration in the interface okay this one so usually the uh, the concentration or the mole ratio yeah uh, of the uh, gas in the interface always lower okay so this tell you that it is lower okay and because it is lower uh, bloom genu yeah uh, it can it is it hasn't been saturated yet then there would be a mass transfer i can uh, also give an exa explanation like uh, for you for example like this you have a wet clothes baju yang baru dicuci yeah and then uh, you just uh, apa jemur you just you just hanging it out okay um, after a while of course the because you have the sun and then uh, it is a uh, uh, 30 degrees celsius out there yeah outside the concentration in the gas phase at that time one it hasn't been saturated okay the the relative humidity it, it hasn't been 100 percent because the relative humidity is not 100 percent maybe 50 percent then uh the 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 water will vaporize okay so you can uh, I can give an example. This is the concentration in the interface, or maybe in the in the uh, at the at the up uh, di tempat yang terakhir, gitu ya. And the uh, your your area here is not uh, uh, humid yet, for example. And then this one is your concentration in your uh, your clothes in your wetted clothes. Okay. So after a while, because your wet clothes uh, have a high concentration of water of course it will vaporize okay and it will go always like that up until uh, until of course your uh, your uh, uh, humidity in your clothes is similar to the humidity from outside okay so th that is how the mass transfer is another one example but however if you uh, hang your clothes in a very maybe um mendung yeah a very uh uh it's, it's gonna rain and then it is relative humidity is like a 100 percent of course the mass transfer will will not do that okay so maybe uh it would be looks like or, may, or maybe this is gonna be your y or and this is gonna be your y i yeah so very very low here because the, this is the driving force Up to here, got it? I'll I'll try to explain the phenomena first. Yeah, so you 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 know what's happened. Yes, bu. Okay. I understand. Yeah. yeah, right. Okay. Now, but however, when when the gas goes into the the interface, it doesn't just sit down. Okay, it's just gonna change because uh, there's an interface. There's a liquid. The liquid will will absorb. Yeah, by using the Henry's law with the equilibrium. Okay, and then uh, it will correlate it to the x. Ah, yeah and this x is usually always we we, we 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 need to find which one is higher yeah which one is higher because if we choose one the lower one uh, then it's gonna be very long time before uh, it have a good effective one yeah, sometimes it can be like this with as well but uh yeah it's not common usually the x should be higher compared to the y so we because we want them to be absorbed right because it is absorption it's not desorption we want uh, the gas to be absorbed by the liquid so by the equilibrium it should be um, absorbed with this 
uh, equilibrium. So if in the here uh, around the uh, interface for the liquid one, it's not uh, equilibrium yet, then uh, the, it's the, the process will still go on. Okay, so then we have uh, this one is in the interface. Okay, when, uh, when it goes from the interface into the bulk phase, yeah, again, we, uh, in order the molecule to uh, move, yeah, uh, of the mass transfer, it should be, it also needs to have the driving force. So that's why the driving force would be like this. Okay, so this, uh, it uh, changed from, and, and then why it is uh, curved like this, I don't know, yeah, uh, because uh, I think they have measured before and it looks like a uh, curve like this. Yeah, it's not linear, but uh, to be honest, I don't know. Maybe it looks like that one. Okay, so, so there you have it. So uh, your X, this is going to be your, uh, with a different color maybe. For this, is, uh, this so uh, uh, this is the, the gas uh, in the interface will be absorbed by the, by the liquid and then it has composition of xi in the interface but when it goes to the bulk phase um, there should be lo some lower mole ratio because of the mass transfer because still the, in the in the bulk phase is lower compared to the uh, uh, interface the transfer will always happen okay that one there. now that's the phenomena now what happened with the calculation uh, the um, mass transfer in the gas phase now let's look at one side so if we only look at one side here so then actually it's equal to an a so this is the mass the molar flux yeah molar molar flux rate multiply because it is a flux uh, divided by the area so we have to calculate with the area uh, and then equal to uh, the of course always resistance yeah the resistance is called a k y a the mass transfer in the get the mass transfer coefficient in a gas phase multiply with a this is called a uh, resistance and the resistance, so, so the rate, yeah, you will, you will also with uh, meet, uh, you will also uh, meet with me again in the uh, transfer phenomena next next semester. Uh, the rate is actually equal to resistance multiplied with driving force, uh, and the driving force is the y minus y i. Okay, so this one. And then this one is multiplied with dz because we uh, is over the height of dz. Okay, so so there you have it. Um, so this is the this is if we call this is the the one that I explained yesterday the mass transfer in the gas phase. Up to here, uh, so in here we only consider this area from here to here. Oh, okay. I have a question. Yeah, okay, Kevin. Uh, the y to y i and x i to x, uh, you said that a vertical line is based on position, right? But x i is actually liquid, right? So why why isn't it below y? Why? Which one? Which one? Uh, yang di atas bu, the top right diagram. Yeah, yeah. that one. Uh, since gas is actually on top of liquid why isn't xi below oh, no uh this is not the position this is concentration oh okay yeah? okay okay Be this is this is concentration mole ratio or concentration uh suppose uh we have the um we suppose we have the co2 gas in in like for example let's say this is a co2 uh, let's let me put an example this is co2 gas Okay, this is for example Coke, Coca Cola, yeah. Okay, and we put it in a pressurized pressurized bottle and also a low temperature. Why? Because we want uh, uh, the 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 CO two to be absorbed by the Coke. So that means the concentration of CO two in the Coke in equilibrium should be higher compared to the. Uh, 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 concentration of CO2 
uh, in a gas phase, isn't it? Because we want to do yes, it. Okay. Yeah, I know this is confusing. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's not position. Uh, this is uh, we call it mole ratio. Okay, well, I understand. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Now, one more. The next. Uh, uh, how about the uh, the mass transfer overall? Yeah. Well, uh, oops. Oh, what is that? Uh, mass transfer overall. Okay. For mass transfer overall, we uh, want to consider them from uh, here into here. We consider all the phenomena from the beginning to the end. Okay. So, uh, again so then the the, the correlation become an a a n a multiplied with a equal to k uh, the capital sorry yeah, the capital y a multiply with the driving force and the driving force is y minus y a star d z and then then y star we can get it from the uh, previous one uh the uh, the y that correlated to the x in the operating line okay so uh, of course the 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 number or the the value of small k uh, y uh, small k y and the capital k y is going to be different because um, k y a only consider here but uh, in k y a consider between the transfer from uh, the gas into the interface and from the uh, liquid, yeah, the liquid interface into the liquid book phase. Okay. Okay, is that clear enough? Any questions, please? Uh, Bu, can you explain again uh, the graph, Bu? <laughs> like, how do you, like, find stuff inside the graph? <laughs> okay. Uh... With new slide, yeah. Which one? Which uh, which case? Which case? Uh, both cases. They were just in case. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. The uh the first case uh case with um mass transfer in the gas phase, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm. Uh, but I need your help. Yeah. Uh, I need all of your help. Not only Kevin, but uh, all of them. Okay. Anyone? Uh, uh, do you all agree if I try to do it from the beginning? Anyone? Not Kevin. Okay. For me, it's okay, but okay right so, okay but i need your help okay so first what should we uh first what should we do come on i will write your answer find what is it the one using henry's law <laughs> yeah and equilibrium uh or not fine, yeah. Or maybe construct. So construct uh, equilibrium curve. Okay, you want to find uh, y versus x, but then change it into a capital Y to versus capital X. Okay, find the correlation between the mole fraction to mole ratio so this is called um, mole fraction and then uh, mole ratio mole ratio okay uh, the second uh, step what is that uh, find the operating line yeah find the operating line so uh, usually uh, at the bottom we call it uh, position one 
uh, at the top we call it processing uh, we call it processing 2 yeah uh, so this is called y i y1 this is y2 we should know y1 yeah we should know y2 we also know y x2 too yeah x2 because it is the uh, solvent uh, from the uh, desorption okay and then uh, what else we should know g s dash yeah or uh, g g or maybe sometimes from g yeah uh, it, it depends so we have to convert uh, all of this stuff to so gs usually it can be for example uh, this is the uh, the rate of uh, the gas for example with how many percent mole uh, of the uh, this is the the gas uh, for example the gas rate is uh, 1000 uh, kilo mole with the percentage of the the gas that would be treated for example 10 percent for example and then uh, the di diameter of the column is this one okay so then if you know the area you can find the g as superficial and then uh, right um, uh, like Kevin said we have to find operating line okay let me this one save as so i can also put it to the other next year my calculation Now, uh, so to get you and usually uh, we know that the LS is how many, I don't know, for example, two times or three times, or I don't know, yeah, multiply with LS minimum. So the next step is to construct the operating line, but the first one is to find the, the operating line that uh, shows the LS minimum, okay? So we construct the Y versus X and then uh, we construct the uh, this one is the equilibrium and then uh, usually y2 always lower compared to y1 so find y2 and then using the graph there yeah using using your line over there and this is going to be y1 okay so this is going to be y2 and this is going to be your x2 yeah because you know you know y y2 you know x2 so you know the these points okay uh, here you uh, know y1 but to g to get your x1 uh, first you need to find the uh, line that goes into the uh, lf minimum okay to find uh, how to get the uh, operating line that goes to the lf minimum How to get that? Find the line from the X2 eh. yeah. Find the line from the X2 that goes into the uh, intercept uh, or the yeah the cross section between the curve and the y1 there uh, maybe this yeah maybe this one there okay so this is one so this line um yeah so this one here I'll make maybe make it bigger Yeah, so this one here shows the line that uh, this is the slope of your LS minimum divided by GS. Okay, so using your uh, ruler, yeah, try to find it uh, because this is millimeter block. Yeah, you know the delta Y divided by delta X, which is your uh, slope. So you can. I uh, know uh, what is your slope. So from here, you can uh, find your 
LF dash minimum divided by GS minimum. It will be divided by GS. Okay. And then what is the next step? Find the slope. Yeah. Uh, and then find the LS. Yeah. Find the LS. For example, equal to. Let's say, yeah, example. Uh, and the variable two times L S, okay. And then uh, so because because you because you know the slope. Sorry, I think I should I should start it uh, with the slope. So you you find the slope. So slope is equal to L S minimum divided by G S. Yeah, you know you know the uh, slope. You know the G S, and then you know the L S. So then you find the LS minimum, and then you calculate again the LS equal to uh, LS minimum divide minimum uh, multiply. For example, I don't know, yeah, there, and then you have your new slope, which is LS dash divide then GS dash return. Up to here, any questions? And then you may you use again your uh, ruler again to find your maybe mm, from here for example to okay so that one is your uh, ls minimum this is gonna be your uh, new slope, yeah. And this is gonna be your uh, operating line. Oh, sorry. I think uh, sorry. The X two is not in here. Uh, just it's not in the. Uh, it's not with the oops, sorry i think it's it's not with the equilibrium one yeah the the first uh one so you have to find your x2 for example this is your x2 so you should start your uh, line uh, from there ah this one yeah this one is the correct one Okay, so not, not this one, not the one that uh, close to the uh, equilibrium one, but the X2, you, you found it from uh, Y1 and uh, from Y2 and X2. So maybe this one is your, uh, this one. Yeah, so uh, maybe I should draw it again. So this one, yeah, this is the point of the equilibrium yeah uh, where the first one uh, so the operating line started from x2 and y2 to the uh, uh, cross-section with the equilibrium there okay so this is the to get the ls minimum and then you calculate your ls and then uh, you construct new slope up to here any questions Is it clear enough? It's clear, Bu. Okay, yeah. Okay, uh, Okay. let's go next. And then what is the next step? Uh, graphing the y, y, i, and 1 over y minus y, i, Bu. Okay. Mm. Fine. Uh, the... We call it NTU, yeah, because that one, uh, because this one is the, uh, this one is called the HTU. The HTU is actually the uh, GS dash divided by. You, you can we can calculate yeah the HTU using KAA, yeah this one H uh, just to calculate just to add find find the HTU and the second one is to find the NTU which is. Uh, integral from y2 to y1 uh, from uh, 1 over 
uh, y minus y i divided by dy. Okay. Okay. Um, then let me construct the again. So for example, this is the equilibrium, and then this is the uh, operating line. Uh, let's say this is y1, this is x1, uh, this is uh, y2, this is x2. Yeah. Okay. So we have to uh, find k y a and then also k x x a yeah because uh, this is a transfer uh, is we have to know that one there to get the correlation between the chord uh, here to the equilibrium okay and then find the slope which is minus k x a defined by k y a Okay. Let's say uh, this one I have y uh, one and y two, and for the for this method, we you can you can uh, you can calculate, and then for example, you want to divide your calculation into how many section five section for example, yeah. So then you need um, you need uh, maybe six uh, points there, yeah. Maybe this one this point this is by divided by two. This white by two divided by two. Okay, so I will uh, have one, two, three, four, seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have, for example, I have six segment. Yeah. Um. So I need to find um a table from Y one. With an additional five more. One, two, three, four, five, and then y two. Yeah, so seg seven segment. One, two, three, uh, uh, four segment, but seven points. Five, six, seven. Uh, uh, yeah, seven. There. Okay. So, uh, with your ruler, uh, try to find it. For example, what is the delta between uh, that one there? Uh, for example, this is 0 0.01. This is uh, 0 0.09, for example, yeah. And then uh, try find find this delta and then divide by how many segment that you want to do the calculation. For example, I want to make six segment. So I will uh, put uh, find this y and then all of this these five things, yeah. Read it in your uh, millimeter block. Okay, and then uh, you know the slope, this one the slope. So for example, if uh, this is the slope, then you can find uh, and then write the, uh, draw the slope and then uh, find again your yi. One, two, three. And don't forget uh, from here as well, yeah. So uh, with that, you calculate your yi y i and also y and then you also calculate uh, this one just uh, read it yeah only only read it from the graph okay and after that what is the your your next steps find the function the, yeah the function yeah the function one minus uh, y minus y just to do the calculation, yeah. For example, this is two. This is one. Okay, so this is one divided by uh, two minus one. Yes, just like that. Okay, and then you want to multiply them with the delta y, yeah. So uh, multiply uh, to uh, delta y. Okay, so you should now find the delta. So the delta y is actually uh, the the difference between y. 1 and y, uh, this is y2, yeah, this is y1, sorry. Uh, y1 and y2, the difference between y1 and y2, uh, y1 minus y2, divide by how many segments? For example, you have six segments, one, two, three, four, five, six, so you, you change into your segments. If you want to change into four segments, that's fine as well, okay? The, the difference is only going to be in the errors. Okay, and then uh, just multiply with delta y. 
okay and then you got the function and then just add it up and this one is actual to uh, uh, integral of 1 over y minus y i dy okay and this is equal to the NTU okay and your um, your height I'm um, just put it here so your height equal to HTU multiply with NTU okay is it clear enough Oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait uh, for the sum, that's the sum of the multiply delta u yeah. from the 1 over y minus y1, right? Is yeah. that right? Yeah, yeah. So, so this, is the, uh, this is the sum of the function 1 over y minus y1 multiply with delta y. Yeah, for this one, and then you do it for many others. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, because in the uh, trapezoid, trapezoid method, of course, you want to find, for example, this one is the uh, function. This is the function of y, yeah, and this is, for example, for the y. First, we make them into how many segments? For example, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, for example, like that. And then this one, this number is actually one area. Yeah. Oh, this one. Sorry, sorry. Uh, for this one, uh, I just use. It's, I'm not using a trapezoid. Yeah. I'm using uh, apa tuh persegi panjang ya. But if you want to uh, use the trapezoid one that you have to um, maybe just not divide that one there, but um, uh, area trapezoid so it depends on you yeah? if you if you want to do the persegi panjang that's fine if you want to do trapezoid that's also fine so for example you want to do trapezoid so that's actual to um, uh, this one yeah the the uh, the function this one plus this one uh, multiply with um, for example this is f y one this is f y two so you have to add this one divide by two half divide um wait wait or i think if you can uh, if you just uh using the uh persegi panjang yeah method the persegi panjang that's fine as well uh so this one if you use this one that equal to uh what should I say? Um, F Y two, yeah. Uh, F Y two plus F Y one, yeah. The the height of this one plus the height of that one, okay. Divide by two, multiply with delta y. You can also do that. So for and this this is for number one. For number two. So that means the function of this one, uh, for example, the function of this one plus the function of this one, and then multiply with delta y divided by two. Okay, you have to do it. Uh, 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 you have to try it. I think yeah, to to calculate this one. Okay, do do your trapezoid one. Yeah, if you you think a bit still a bit confused then uh, i don't know maybe have a refreshing course about calculus maybe yeah okay so this is the trapezoid one so the, the basically we want to uh, def so the, uh, the, uh, if you just to check if this is a trapezoid one so if this is a and b the uh, the area is actually half of um, a plus b multiply with the uh the delta yeah delta y okay Bu, for the ntu that's just the integration of 
1 over y minus y1 yeah because this is integration the integration is actually the area under the curve so once you have the area of this segment this segment this segment this segment this segment, this segment and if you sum it up that became the area and uh, which is become the integration as well okay, i understand this. yeah so this one's equal to that one okay any anyone uh, apart from kevin question about the method okay excuse me mom yeah yeah okay just Jonah. just making sure you could either do this method or the trapezium method right this is a pretty good method yeah. or, or the 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 persegi panjang method yeah the uh, it's called the yes that, that one the, yeah uh, if you for example uh, gamma if you uh Bo, i want to do the rectangular method that's fine as well but the difference is gonna be the, in the error so we're gonna just see how you calculate that one if you're using the uh, uh, uh rectangular method then you just only to calculate the function divided by the delta which is maybe only uh, this one yeah that one and that one that one but you but but you can see the um, for example yeah you're using the second one here if you're using the uh, uh, rectangular method method of the panjang so then you can only get this uh, area okay the second one the second and then the third one there so you can see here there are some error yeah the error in uh, 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 this one in the rectangular method method of the panjang is much uh, higher compared to the tra trapezoid method but if you use uh, trapezoid uh, the rectangular method then uh, you only uh, equal to sum it up uh, of the f y delta y yeah just to the the height which is the f x f y and then multiply with the delta y for the um yeah panjang kali lebar okay uh no. is there is there any uh, uh preferred which one uh i think i still prefer the trapezoid method because it has less uh errors yeah compare the uh this one to the uh apart to the uh, this one so to the rectangular method but again uh, the approximation or the numerical method uh, we can't say it's wrong no it is both of them right but the difference is going to be in the error okay All right mom thank you yeah any other questions for the overall, uh, it's just all similar except uh, why I looks like doing the tutorial. Yeah, looks like I'm a, a, a student and give you tutorial. So uh, anyway, but for the for the overall ones, uh, if you look at the graph, um, the depends is this one. Yeah, if you if you have the overall guess, the, uh, the when you find the y star uh you you need to find the x in the equilibrium and then find the y okay all right if there's uh any other question is it uh, up to here just just one 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 side yeah from just only one case is it is it quite clear enough what do you think because we have another example uh for today practice it's okay. clear for me yeah okay right um okay i'm i think i should upload this one too with my uh notes uh just to to make sure uh sorry it's not uh really clear right uh now let please open your edunex and then we have some uh example from uh last year's uh exam and i would like you to uh try to observe and uh, try to check yeah which one oops this one should be on
Okay, um, we still have a uh, half an hour, so I'm gonna uh, ask you a uh, 15 minutes to uh, do the practice. Okay, this is from last last week, eh, from, from last last years. See, uh, this is an example that uh, I think in the second uh, page there is a graph. Uh, so uh, I would like you to ob just observe this one and then uh, try it by yourself during the weekend. So if you can do this, you should be able to do the exam as well. Um, check this one uh, for a uh, and then again, as similar to the distillation, there are problem one and problem uh, two. But for uh, this semester, we put this one not uh, 60, but 80. Yeah, so 80 for the uh, the minimum requirement was all wajib. Uh, this one is 20. So uh, yeah, uh, again, the problem two can be only done when you finish a problem one. Okay. Um, so uh, I'm gonna uh, yeah I'm gonna uh, ask you to uh, review this one, and then uh, you can also discuss with your friends, uh, and then uh, I'm gonna go back at ten forty five.
Okay, uh, everyone. Anyone would like to have a comment about these questions or ask questions about this one? Uh, bu, uh, <laughs> I'm a bit confused on how do you get the Y1 and Y2 in this problem, Bu. Okay, that's a question from Kevin. How about the others? Any other uh, Same question, Bu. Yeah, okay. Yes, um, and I... I also confused about how to find the GS. GS, okay. 